All right, having a nice clean area. Having a nice clean area for your customers to run up and down and also have a seat is very crucial. All right, step two. <laughs> step two, introducing yourself to the customer. Hi, I'm Jack. Looking okay. for shoes today? Yeah. Yeah, I can help you. Step three, first gate analysis. I'm gonna have you take off your shoes. Yep. And then what I'm gonna look for is your printing or neutral. So feel free, come back here. And just do a nice, light, easy jog. This is step four, making sure that you're going nice and out, easy, nice, light jog. I'm gonna look for if you pronate or not. Get to the grass and back. Step five, he's coming back. Perfect. Now, communicating what I saw, step six. It looks like you're a pretty neutral runner, so I'm gonna stick with shoes that look similar to this. Um, just a nice standard trainer to start you with. All right, in the slow-mo, you can see in the shoe that there's a little bit extra movement that we don't want. Um, you can especially see it on this next step here, the right foot kind of creates a little angle with his ankle again on his left foot. So that's the type of motion that we see a lot on the outside. Um, you don't really see it as much coming back. So I need to grab a more structured shoe for him for the next shoe to try on. All right, this first shoe I'm grabbing is this pretty standard neutral training shoe. Um, nothing too complicated, no um, structure involved in it, just a nice standard trainer. So go ahead, tie these up, tie them on. I'm gonna watch you run again. This is step six. Um, step seven, I'm gonna do the same steps as I did before and watch him run again. Um, in a shoe this time, just to see what it looks like. But we'll see how he looks. Nice, like, easy jog again. Cool. Before you take those off, stand that back up and you can leave them on these. Just tap the back of your heels. This is step 10, rule of thumb, making sure he has the right size on. Can you stand straight up for me? Yep, he's got that thumb width in between, so he has enough space for his feet to expand while he's running and such. shoe felt or what it looked like. You look like you pronate a little bit while you're running in this shoe. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend this shoe just because you have a lot of movement, but I'll grab you some more options um, just so that you know what it feels like. Step 12, giving you more options. Um, but also, how did you feel in the shoe? Fine. Fine. Yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. eh. So we could grab some more options for them. All right, second pair of shoes for you. They have a little bit more corrective aspects and I went over that earlier so here's that for you try those on I'm gonna do, have you do the same thing with just a second pair of shoes um, step 13 cool same thing as process just having them do a life nice light easy jog and watching them run go All right, so in this next video, you can see that um, I grabbed him a little bit more pronation correcting shoe. So you see that there's still a little bit of pronation, but it's a lot better than the last shoe. He moves a lot less in the shoe just from watching him run, run down. So this shoe is a much better fit for him. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the other shoe over this one just because in the other slow-mo, you can see that he does pronate a little bit more um, than I'm comfortable with and that he is probably comfortable with. Step 15 
guys, how, asking them how they felt in the shoe. How do you feel in the shoe? Uh, I thought the left shoe was better than the right shoe as my foot felt more tight in it. Nice. And one thing I forgot to do in the previous step, just remaking sure, having that thumb width in between the front, and he does. Um, usually you don't have to worry about that just because the shoe sizes tend to be the same across brands, but sometimes they do fluctuate, so it's always important to recheck that. And yeah, you looked a lot better. Step 15 is also making sure that they looked better or letting them know that their choice is probably the best. And because you looked the best in those shoes for sure, um, you looked like you pronated on the right shoe a little bit, but on the left shoe, he didn't. And um, we'll, we'll do a little bit of slow-mo just to show that for sure. Cool. That's how you fit someone for shoes. All right, last step, having them try both of their top two options on. Here's this for you. Try it on. I'm going to have them try one shoe on one foot and the other um, just to narrow their choices down. Lace them up. And um, I'll have them do the same thing, but just with two different shoes just to see which one looks better. All right, so when we have them try it on uh, with both shoes on, you can clearly see a difference in the Adidas on the right side. He moves a lot, lot more right there in that step. He still a little, moves a little bit in that A6, but it does offer him a little bit more uh, protection from pronation. So this is just reaffirming what he feels and what he likes. But of course, if he prefers the Adidas over the the a6 then it's then that's his choice um that it's just our recommendation that he goes with the a6 because it looks a little bit better from a pronation correction standpoint that 15 is how, asking them how they felt in the shoe how do you feel in the shoe uh i thought the left shoe was better than the right shoe as my foot felt more tight in it nice and one thing i forgot to do in the previous step just remaking sure, having that thumb width in between the front, and he does. Um, usually you don't have to worry about that just because the shoe sizes tend to be the same across brands, but sometimes they do fluctuate, so it's always important to recheck that. And yeah, you looked a lot better. Step 15 is also making sure that they looked better, or letting them know that their choice is probably the best. And because you looked the best in those shoes for sure, um, you looked like you pronated on the right shoe a little bit, but on the left shoe, he didn't. And um, we'll, we'll do a little bit of slow-mo just to show that for sure. Cool. That's how you fit someone for shoes.